In this video tutorial series, we will be learning about new form elements, animation using CSS3, improved UI abilities, drag and drop interface, offline caching, local storage, geolocation, web worker, sockets, canvas, audio, video, etc. And many more things are to come in HTML5 tutorial series. HTML5 is actually a combination of technologies like JavaScript API, CSS3 and the new HTML. So let's dive in and get started with the new adventure. Web will be so much more beautiful, usable, maintainable and so much more accessible with the proper use of HTML5. So let's get started. Well, this is the complex doc type we had previously, which tells us the doc type tells us that the tags underneath is of type is of HTML 4.0 version. Doc type these doc types or the HTML depended on HTML, but with HTML5 it no more depends on HTML. So the doc type has been simplified. So this is HTML5 doc type. I know you could be asking what what if HTML 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 comes? Well, still the doc type will remain the same, which is standard from here on. I'll give a title that is it's a title tag. So meta tag has also been simplified. It's just we just need to give character set. By default, we we will be using UTF-8. Also, as a bonus, I'll let you know now itself. You have already seen the style sheet linking and the script that is the JavaScript. With HTML5, the style sheet for HTML5 by default is cascading style sheet that is CSS. And by default, the scripting language we will be using with HTML5, that is by default, is JavaScript. Because CSS has been declared as the standard and the default style for HTML5, we need not specify the type in here. Let me save this first. The same is true even with the JavaScript tag, that is the script tag. By default, we will be using JavaScript for HTML5. Since JavaScript has been declared as the standard and default for HTML5, we can safely remove this type attribute from both CSS as well as script link as well as script tags well what, what if we are writing embedded script so just write script and a opening script and a closing script and and your javascript inside this html5 will treat this as javascript as by default javascript has been declared as the standard and default scripting language for HTML5. Rest of it, if you have learned any of the HTML that is XHTML or HTML4 or HTML4.0.1 all those tags are still supported by HTML5 but it would be great if you can make use of only HTML5 tags that would help the browsers to render the tags efficiently. So this is the output. Let me validate it in the W3C validator that is validator.w3.org. I'll directly upload my HTML that is HTML5 file to this validator tool. 
it might give one error that is one warning because we are using some markups which are not at completely decided because HTML5 has not yet come out as a standard from W3C maybe it may come out by 2014 so by then we will be learning it so let's open it in other browsers too just to check if it can render or not well now in internet explorer okay it's all working fine so please stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com for more serious html5 video tutorials remember HTML5 includes JavaScript APIs and CSS3. With all these technologies, we will be making use of Canvas, video or audio, or web workers, and geolocation, many of these things. So stay tuned. Please like this video on YouTube and pass on this video to your friends on Facebook, Google, Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Stay subscribed. Please like this video on YouTube.